Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the contortion knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the eye in the top right corner, just over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby down and we will get started. All right, so before anyone asks me, this is a Tommy Hilfiger tie. Uh, the image is flipped, so my right should be on your right, my left should be on your left. Um, so whenever I refer to those sides, it should be the same, and that way it's like following along in a mirror. Um, I'm gonna start off by taking my blade, which is the wide end, and pinching it off to create my power crease. I'm just gonna pull it to the center of the shirt and then go ahead and pull the tail or the small end over. We're gonna wrap around the back and up and through the center. By the way, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. From here, I'm gonna take this baby and fold it in half. And I'm going to begin to pass it underneath, up, and around, just like so. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna loosen just a little bit. All right, we wanna bring it around. I'm gonna bring it around to the left side here, and that way I can keep the smooth side facing upward and as everything just flows a bit better this way. So I'm keeping it folded all the way to the tip, just like this here. We're gonna place that underneath this loop right here. And then once you have that, we're just gonna bring it up and cross it back the other way. So at this point, it's very much like the hashtag knot. And honestly, there's just one major change with this knot versus the hashtag knot, and you'll see exactly what that is in just a moment. So I've got that baby right on there. Let's just snug that up a bit. There we go, so that way it gives us some of that hashtaggy shame. <laughs> uh, for only the words that are made up by Linwood, the hashtaggy and hashtagginess or whatever you wanna say. Okay, so from there I've brought it up and around uh, through the center. I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it now. And we're just going to cross it around the back to my left side again. Up from the front. And we should have a loop that we created back here now. So it's just gonna fold directly into that loop. And from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this baby up. And right now I'm just kind of doing some final detail work. And because to me at this point, this is all about kind of making it look pretty to the eye and trying to get it symmetrical as much as possible. So you'll notice some of those corners I take and tuck them. And then that way it kind of gives a much more of a cylindrical feel. Uh, this name was actually suggested by one of my subscribers uh, quite some time ago because I've been holding this knot in my back pocket for quite a while now and um, I thought you know what I'm filming this on Halloween why not go ahead and go with the name of the contortionist knot because let's be real what better day is there of the year to be a contortionist than Halloween like I don't know too many creepy movies that don't have some sort of contortion or something like that especially if you're dealing with like the uh, possession type movies and things like that. So as always, let me know what you think in the comment box below. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and other hand motions. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Take care and God bless. And as always, you are fancy now. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.